Christ. Absolutely. And unless I, I forfeit uh, my responsibility and goal as a man of God, uh, it is not my job as a college professor or university dean or an adjunct lecturer uh, to just pontificate on ethereal uh, principles, on eschatological moments, but we got to deal with the reality of where it is that we are. So for us to just have an intellectual orgasm and not really have something of spiritual significance would be of not. And so I may be overstepping my bounds, the show almost over anyway, but I think that we ought to... <laughs> I, I, I think with, with believers that are here, I'm going to execute uh, some privilege to say that, uh, Lexi, if we can, because this is Christian television, if we can just take a moment. Bishop Pearson has taken years to lay hands and to pray over sick, uh, and they have recovered, uh, blind, and they've been able to see. Uh, people who were unsaved, and they've been able to receive Jesus Christ. And we're surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses and who believe in the power of prayer and who are yet holding on. Would you just stretch your hands towards Bishop even now? Lord, in the name of Jesus, I believe you for supernatural shifting. Do what no man can do. Satan, the blood of Jesus is against you. I'm believing in an absolute turnaround. Thank you, dear Lord, that this is a moment where all things are working together for your good. Thank you, dear Lord. Hallelujah. Our coming tonight was not in vain, Wonderful. but somebody is going to yes, be healed, Jesus. set free, delivered, yes. and whole again. And the people of God who still believe in miracles, come on and shout hallelujah in this house. Even now, bless your holy name. Go to school. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Bless your holy name. Thank you. Ah, bless your holy name. Hallelujah. Ah, bless your holy name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Bless your holy name. Thank you, God. Bless your holy name. Thank you. And because I know you. Does that offend you? Not, not because people were praying, but it's the same thing. And I don't think we're ever going to see eye to eye because you keep saying, I'm not that guy anymore. Just accept me. And they love you so much that they want that anointing back. The people are crying. They, they, they're praying. They, they, they feel that you, you're misguided, they, they, yeah, of course. that I, you've missed God in, in some way. And I, I understand that, and I expect it, yeah. and I appreciate your prayers from the bottom of my heart, and don't stop. If you're as powerful as you think you are, I'll be back. Yeah. Right? If you, if you prayed that in faith, if you pray that in faith and I repent and ask God to forgive me for being in the spirit of error and demons of deception and come back to God, you, you and, and put on a Zeus in next April, <laughs> you all would come. I asked Bishop Jones and um, um, Clarence McClendon mm -hmm. to go on a three-day fast before they met with me, get these devils out of me. And... Uh, just uh, no, I'm not. And I'm being funny. If 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 I'm really that off, God had a chance to kill me with the cancer, and I said to him, if if I'm really leading millions to hell, and I've lived my life to try to get them out of hell, take me, God. If I'm really that powerful, that gifted, that anointed, take me. Don't let me hurt the people, and lead folks off. And I'm still open to whatever God would do with that. And I honestly, I'm not making fun. I know how you feel. I was there for, for many years, and I still know the scriptures. I understand the principles. And you're okay. I'm okay with that. I know you'll pray for me. I thank you for loving me. The only reason I do these kinds of programs in church settings like this is because somebody will hear it, and I hear from them who are, who's hurting deeply in the area that I'm emphasizing. And I get tens of thousands of emails. I meet them in the airports, and we're bringing some, I might, I might hurt you and I don't mean to, but I'm helping others. 
And my, I've never had the response from non-Christians that I have now, that I had when I was just preaching in the church among the saints. I love you. And if you had me to preach, I might do it. But I'm doing something differently now, and the Lord led me. So, um, but if you really mean that, whatever God read through your prayers, and you prayed it in faith, then it will happen. We have to close this show. We have to, we have to close because we could literally be here all night talking and going yeah. back and forth and praying and, and so forth. And <laughs> this guy here. Yeah. Uh, uh. I want to give everybody uh, uh, your last 60 seconds as to what, what you would say. I'm going to start with you, Bishop. Just happy to see you. I think tonight was a phenomenal night. And um, I came because I wanted to see you in person again. And uh, secondly, all of those who will be watching needs to hear that uh, Jesus still changes and transforms lives. Yes. So I came to talk about my faith. And I, think, I thank you for that opportunity. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Appreciate you being here. Yeah. What do you have to say to Bishop? Well, uh, this is not an academic environment. Uh, <laughs> But I it am, is because you're here. Well, yeah. as, as, uh, as preach black man said, I do want to say that, that from the word of God, uh, the apostles and Paul and everyone understood. Paul said to Timothy, son, I want you to preach sound doctrine because by the preaching of sound doctrine, you will not only save yourself, but those who listen to you. It is a fact of church history that throughout the history of the church, there has been truth and then the error comes along. Teaching. And so one of the things that we suffer from, and Carlton raising this issue does help us, is the fact that most people, we kept using the phrase over and over again, shout and dance and pray, and that's all part of it. But also knowing what we believe and why we believe it is part of the Christian experience. That it's not just a feeling and an emotion. So you feel the spirit <clears throat> passing over your more than just, I said, I wish you would slow down and do like they did in the early church, have, have groups of clergy, we come together and we talk about it, you dialogue over it, you continually dialogue and have a dialectical process before you go public with anything. So I tried to get him to slow down from some of this, but him being Carlton who he is, he moved on with it. I only regret that, and even in the College of Bishops, the way they shut him out, we ought to somehow have a forum where we continue to talk about these things. I am saying personally, I'm willing to be anywhere to sit down somewhere where we continue to really talk about these things uh, because I do believe uh, that God has something for all of us. And I appreciate you inviting me, not knowing me. I'm the unknown on this stage, and, but I'm glad to be not here. After the night. And you know I know you. You're awesome. Thank you. I would love to make that happen with the Joint College of Bishops who totally declared him a heretic, but I, I don't know if it would do anything. You were, you were there. You were, you were at that meeting, correct? I was not allowed to speak. You were not allowed to speak, but you were there. I was there. And, and do you feel being there, knowing the Joint College of Bishops, you were not allowed to speak. I don't know if it would yield anything different other than right. this man totally and I'm being... I'm not talking about the Joint College of Bishops. Yeah? No. What were you talking about? Well, there are other men and women of God yeah. that that have the understanding that you can have great dialogue with. You don't have to go to just that group. There sure. are several groups. And sometimes in Pentecostalism, we have to understand that the body of Christ is larger than just Pentecostals. We have people in evangelical circles. There's, there's the Coptic church. There's the Orthodox church. I mean, there's so many segments to the body of Christ who all have thoughts on these issues, if we just relegate ourselves and pigeonhole ourselves in that all we're having conversations is with Pentecostals, yeah. then we are myopic right there. Amen. We are very narrow. The body of Christ is larger than just Pentecostalism or the Azusa experience. It's a lot larger than that. Well, we've had numerous sessions with 